Hey everyone, welcome back to Atari News channel. Let me start with a question. Have you ever looked at your computer and thought, it still works perfectly fine, so why can't I get Windows 11 on it? If that sounds like you, then today's video is going to be very interesting because we're going to talk about a little tool with a funny name, FlyOob, that just might save your PC from being left behind. So here's the situation. Windows 10, the system that millions of us are still using, is slowly approaching its end. Microsoft has already announced its time is limited. And the replacement, Windows 11, looks nice, works fast, and will be the only supported version in the future. But here's the catch. Microsoft only allows Windows 11 on certain computers. If your PC doesn't have things like TP, 2.0, secure boot or a modem processor, you'll be blocked. And guess what? That means millions of good working computers are suddenly told, sorry, you're too old. Imagine buying a car that still drives fine. But the company tells you, no, we don't want you on the road anymore. Frustrating, right? This is where the hero of our today's story comes in. A free tool called Flyo. It was created by a developer known as Bellim and is designed to help people install Windows 11 even when Microsoft says no. But here's the cool part. Flyoop doesn't just force Windows onto your machine. It actually makes the whole installation experience smoother, cleaner and dare I say, more enjoyable. Usually, when you set up Windows, you're greeted by dozens of screens asking questions you don't care about. And then, surprise, you find random apps you never asked for cluttering your start menu. Flyoop changes that. It skips unnecessary check, removes bloatware, and even gives you control over things like Microsoft's new AI assistant, Copilot, which you can turn off if you prefer a simpler laptop. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Hold on, is this safe? And that's a very fair question. Here's the honest truth. Microsoft does not officially support Windows 11 on computers that don't meet their requirements. That means you could miss out on certain updates, and there's always a chance that something may not work as expected. Some users say they still get monthly updates just fine. But for the big yearly feature updates, you might need to run fly Oob again. So yes, there's a little bit of risk and if you decide to try it, make sure you back up your important files or even better, try it on a secondary PC before upgrading your main one. That said, the feedback so far has been pretty positive. People appreciate the control Flyoop gives them. For example, right during setup, you can choose what apps you want to remove. Tired of seeing Candy Crush on your PC? Gone. Don't want Microsoft pushing its Copilot AI on you? Disabled with a click. Want to keep your drivers backed up so your printer, your speakers or your old webcam still work? Done. You can even install your favorite apps like Chrome or VLC right at the beginning. So when Windows 11 starts for the first time, it already feels like your computer. Think of Flyoob as a kind of personal assistant that whispers, relax, I've got this, while Windows is setting itself up. And here's something interesting. Flyoob didn't just appear out of nowhere. It actually grew out of another project called Flyby 11. That older tool was built only to upgrade from Windows 10 to 11. Flyoob is the next step forward. More powerful, more flexible, and definitely easier for beginners. If you want the basic version, Flyby 11 still exists. But honestly, most people will find Flyoob the better choice. So why are we suddenly hearing so much about this tool now? Well, as I mentioned earlier, Windows 10 is nearing the end of its life. Millions of users around the world are facing the decision of buying new hardware or finding another way. And that's why Flyoob has been appearing in tech headlines from sites like Windows Central to PC World. Some writers praise it for giving people options, others warn about the risk by bypassing Microsoft's rules. But love it or not, Flyoob has started a conversation and people are paying attention. Now let's be clear, Flyoob is not magic. It can't make a 20-year-old PC run like new and it doesn't guarantee Microsoft won't change something in the future to make things harder. But what it does offer is time. Time to keep using the computer you already own. Time to stay on Windows 11 without buying new hardware. And time to make the experience your own. And honestly, that's pretty amazing. So, should you try Flyoop? If you've gotten an older PC that you'd like to breathe new life into and you're okay with a little risk, it's definitely worth looking at. Just remember the golden rule. Always back up your files first. And if you're unsure, experiment with it on a machine you don't rely on every day. That way, you can get comfortable with the process before diving in fully. And that brings us to the end of today's story about Flyo. I hope this explanation has helped you understand not just what it is, but why so many people are talking about it right now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to Atarian News, and share this with anyone who might be worried about their old PC being left behind. And if you want to try a Flyo yourself, I put a simple step-by-step -step guide in the description box below to get you started safely. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video.